let's look at the teyaru construction, which is a little bit like the passive, um, but it indicates that something has been done for a purpose, or something has been done in advance with something else in mind, uh, and it has a slightly more limited construction to it. So here's some examples. Maro ga akete aru. Eakon wa tsukete aru. Chichi ni moratta kukki wa mou tabete aru. Heya wa mou yoyaku shite oite aru. Maro ga akete aru. The window has been opened for some reason. Here's a question. Eakon wa tsukete aru. Has the AC been turned on? The cookies I got from Dad are all eaten up. This is a little bit strange. It technically works grammatically, but probably no one would say it. The room has been reserved in advance. We can use the te oite with other as well. So this requires a transitive verb in the te form. Transitive verbs take a direct object, so you can know that they take a wo particle of the transitive object plus te aru. Uh, it doesn't work with intransitive verbs or state of being verbs. So, are the posters all hung up? To hang something up, haru. Poster wa zenbu hatte aru. Hatte aru. The guests have all been contacted. Contact is renakusuru. Okyakusan wa minna renakushite aru. The money is saved, but reservations are not yet made. This is strange in English, but it works perfectly in Japanese. So the object o or ni of an active sentence becomes the subject wa or ga of the te aru sentence. Not that. Right? Saving money, o kane o tameru. Money is saved, o kane ya tamete aru. Let's look a little bit at how the transitive verb te aru stacks up versus intransitive verb or passive voice constructions. So, terebi o tsukeru. I'll turn on the TV. The TV is on, right? This is the intransitive verb. The TV has been turned on for some purpose. The TV was turned on by someone unspecified. So there's a little bit of overlap between and uh, but they have different implications. Let's look at another example. I will close the window. The intransitive verb Maro ga shimatte iru. The window is closed. Maro ga shimete aru. The window has been closed for some purpose, for some reason. And then, Maro ga shimerareta. The window was closed by someone or something. Te aru often is a counterpart to te oku. To do something in advance, it has been done. Right? So you say, did you already make the cake? Keiki yo mo tsukurimashita ka? Kino keiki yo... Right. I made the cake in advance. The cake has been made. Another example. Did you already buy the wine? Wine o mo kaimashita ka? Hai, senshi wine o katte o kimashita. Dakara wine wa Right, the wine o kao, to buy wine. Wine wa katte aru. The wine has been bought, is bought. Uses the te aru form. Did you save money? O kane o tameru. O kane o tamete o kimashita ka? Kyonen, kane o tamete o kimashita kero zenbu, tsukatte shimatta. Uh, last year I saved money in advance, but I used it all up. You could also say, Okane ga tamete oite atto kedo, zenbu tsukatte shimatta. Yeah, the money was all saved up, but then I used it all up in the end. Oops. So this last sentence we used, te oite aru, uh, means to be done in advance. For example, ah, It's awfully cold. Could you heat up the car? Atatameru? Could you heat up the car for me in advance? Darin, mo atatamete oite aru yo. Oh, sweetheart, it's already warmed up. Another example. Okay. 
雨が降り出した。窓を閉めましょう。Oh, it started raining. Let's close the windows. B さん says, 天気予報を見たから、窓が閉めておいてありますよ。Oh, I looked at the weather forecast, so the windows are already closed. <笑>